My daughter was six. There's no chairs. And I had been away on a cruise for a week. While I had gone on the cruise, my children stayed. One stayed with my mother, and another one stayed with a girlfriend. She's and our stepson, who was 18 years old, basically had the run of the house while we were gone. And a couple of days after being home, my brother-in-law contacted me and asked me if my youngest daughter had said anything or if my stepson had said anything. So I just asked my daughter, you know, did, did you see your brother while we were on vacation? And she very openly and honestly and calmly admitted that, yeah. They're gonna get married in then. They had come back to our place and they had played Barbies and they had gotten them undressed and made the Barbies do funny things. I don't like that game. He had asked her if she wanted to try to do those funny things, so she went along with it. I don't really wanna. While I sat there, trembling, trying to stay calm and listening to it, I was trying to formulate what we would do. And my first reaction, of course, was to figure out um, how to get my stepson out of the house, first and foremost, and then where to take my daughter for help. Years and years down the line, two psychiatrists later, it was role play, it was um, cognitive behavior therapy, um, a lot of medication, all trying to deal with her acting out and her horrible behavior and her performance in school had gone downhill. She literally in school was constantly getting in trouble. She was getting in fist fights. She was on track to be suspended and expelled from her middle school. It just continued to accelerate and the older she got, the worse it got because she's actually taller than I am. So physically containing her was becoming difficult for me. I was I was at a loss. I was willing to try anything, so I ended up going online and just Google searching different things. Crisis Center popped up. I went in for the interview. They explained that the whole premise of their program is to help recover from a sexual assault. They weren't there to prescribe medication to my daughter or to deal with ADD suspicions or educational problems. They were going to take it all the way back to the very first event and work forward. And when they told me that, it struck such a bell. I was like, that, that's it. You know, it all started there. I'm, I'm only crying because it was such a, it was like such a common or simple idea that I couldn't believe I had been through so many years of different techniques and procedures and nobody had suggested. Maybe the whole root cause of it is she's still struggling with what happened to her. <laughs> and they helped me to recover, and they helped me identify that I had, in essence, frozen time. I was protecting my six-year-old daughter throughout all those years, being her advocate. And they helped me realize that all I needed to be was her parent. I love you, Mom. If I could have been directed towards the crisis center as soon as it happened, I think a lot of misery could have been spared. Through the crisis center, she now has the hope for a future. She has drive again. She's happy. She's um, concerned about her appearance. She's concerned about her friends. She's concerned about consequences. She dreams of things that she wants to be. And I credit the entire happy ending to the crisis center. I was hoping that we could survive, and the crisis center has given us so much more. We're living now, we're not surviving.